busy schedule. I wonder if I've got time to go to the that What's the name of the day? I've got to eat that day. I've got to eat that day. I've got to spend a week. Next week, where are you? Just where I was. Hi, it's Matilda. It's so nice to get your shirt up. How the hell are you? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. How are you? I'm doing all right. I got a new cup. Oh, don't be a lady, be a legend. Absolutely. That sounds good. Right? That sounds amazing. Right? I think that you are a legend. Thank you. At least in my own mind. Mm-hmm. Many, think, many people think you're a legend, Laurie. Oh, it's kind of weird, but yeah. I know. It's so weird, isn't it? I find it uncomfortable. It is. It is uncomfortable, but I'm getting used to it, but it's still, it's still I'm weird. a behind-the-scenes person. Not anymore, but I always have been. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not now. Not now. But yeah, it's I got you. weird. It's good. Yeah. So how are things in Wyoming? It's good. It's quiet. Ooh. It's what quiet. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. We match. We do. Look at this. We match. Crazy, Crazy woman. woman. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to get some sassy sears one made. I do too. I think that'd be really cool. We'll have to make merch. I think people yeah, want that. Yeah, I think we'll have to make yeah. some merch. We have to come yeah. up with a tagline. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Yours Which... is Kiss My Accuracy. It is kick my kiss my accuracy. Kiss. All because on a live stream, I think it was mm-hmm. a live, it might have been a troll video I was responding to. Right. I went to say kiss my ass and then I thought I'll get a community violation. And mm-hmm. so the original video was kiss my accuracy. Ah, <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. I need one. Absolutely, I need one. Fig jam. Fig jam. Fig jam. Big jam. That's I'm right. buying a new car next week and I've thought about somebody said I should get fig jam as the number plate. It will be gone. We are in Australia. It's a common saying. I don't like personalized number plates anyway, but yeah, someone said you should get fig jam as your personalized number plate. <laughs> that would be great. It would be, but I can guarantee it's gone. It is a very common Australian saying. Saying. Mm hmm. And for those of you that don't know what it means, it's if I'm good, just ask me. Wow, you were being good. Yeah, I was. I'm I'm being good. That was really mindful. I am being mindful of the audience. The fact that I live in a country that takes the most offensive swear word ever known to man and drops it like a lolly in every conversation right it's very hard my argument is if shakespeare wrote it in a play it's fine Uh, yeah and he he did did. he did yeah he did but and i live in a country where it is used as a term of endearment right yeah it kind of is here amongst close friends but yeah but i have to watch myself because I'm sure I make your toes curl even sometimes when I say No, it. they don't. I, don't. I swear like a sailor. Are you Which kidding? Is, You've talked yeah. to me. Yeah, I know. I but do. Sometimes I get so cross and I go, Jesus, they're all not talking about our lovely listeners. I'm talking about the trolls that we experience from time to time. Which and we got quite them. a few because whenever we talk about, you know, Trumpy Dumpty, we get slammed. Um, oh, my God. Well, you don't host but hold bias, do you? Actually, no, I don't. I give no. you the predictions as they don't change. The stuff that no. I get from Spirit doesn't change. The no. fact that he's a twat waffle and I can't stand him is by the by. Yeah, that's that has nothing to do with it. But it's not just like the astrology, explicit. I called him winning in 2016. Yeah. And the abuse I got from the other side for that, I'm like, I don't like the guy. But he had it for 26. He doesn't have it this time. Now, if I happen to laugh at his discomfort, that's called schadenfreude. <laughs> and that is okay. And I oh, my God, I got trolled yeah, yeah. yesterday over that. 
Really? Mm -hmm. I had somebody say on their high horse. And what do I say, children? If those of you listening to me have ever listened to me, I say virtue is part of your deepest shadow, the need to be seen as virtuous. Mm. And so there was a very pious, oh, to make fun of his mental health that makes you lose your integrity. What is wrong with astrologers these days? And I was like, uh, you know what's rampant right now? People on their high horses with false virtue. Yeah, absolutely. He's an abusive thief and liar. How can you stand by somebody that has been found guilty of SA? Yeah. Known yeah. for it. And he's got a couple yeah. more coming down the pipeline. Oh, he's got a lot more. Yeah. I so have, much more. I've just made my own podcast. Mm -hmm. And some of the stuff that I got, I'm like, there is more coming out and it is not going to be comfortable for him or anyone in his family. Oh, no. Uh -uh. And that is going to be what I call karma. Karma on a platter. Mm -hmm. Time for sweater weather. (laughs) And I'm not going to deny Mm -hmm. that I hope he gets what he deserves because Mm -hmm. he He's just, he's a, he's a horrible person. Right. Well, and you were talking about it, like, um, cause we talked about this last night and you were like any spiritual person who is sensitive to energy would know it. And, mm-hmm. and I'm 100%. With I you. said that, did I? Yeah. I can't remember last night. I'm really sorry. I haven't had a good couple of days and I was a little bit tired last night. It could have been a bit. You were really tired. But I yeah. remember having a conversation vaguely about the fact that, I judge. I do not judge you for your political choices. Mm-hmm. That is between you and the ballot box. Absolutely. I judge you in supporting somebody who is mm-hmm. a known SA offender and mm-hmm. a known um, fraudulent, lying, conniving, deceitful, selfish turnip. twat waffle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was running yeah. out of adjectives. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I, I dislike him as a human being. Stand yeah. him next to Tim Waltz. Stand him next to Tim Waltz and you tell me mm-hmm. who is better better to lead the country. Well, or Count, or Kamala Harris, even. I'm talking Because he's running men. against her. I'm oh, man de- for man. Man oh, okay. for man. I'm talking about You were doing about gender bias. Oh, I was doing okay. gender bias. Mm. I know Kamala is the better human being. Um I talked Hands about that down. on my podcast about yeah. how she is a natural healer and she is healing mm-hmm. in a different way. Mm-hmm. Um, she mm-hmm. is very much a natural healer. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm just talking about man for man. Man age. for man, just as a yeah. man. Yeah, as absolutely. A, as, a, as a man. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Stand me next to the quivering, angry, orange, putrid mango and <laughs> and Tim Waltz. Tell me who is the better man. Absolutely. Yeah. I keep getting this. I think it's a bot farm. I don't think these were real people. Mm-hmm. But I keep getting these comments of, I'm a woman with morals and I'm voting for Trump. Oh, and I'm my like, God. That's honey, be bots. morals come in all flavors. I don't know that we share the same. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I've had a few of those and I just, I just block them. I had somebody yesterday make a comment on my social media and I had to laugh because I've got a I've heard I've only heard this saying by it from a couple of people on social media and I thought maybe I know who you are but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention any names Mm -hmm. how can you all believe this Matilda she thinks she's God's gift well you are aren't you I am far from God's gift and I've never touted myself as such but Jesus you know you don't need to be making comments like that I, I did have another good one, and my response was golden because Ooh. I went and I looked at their profile, mm-hmm. and they were like, thank God you're not God. And I was like, that's a very oddly put together sentence. And in their profile, it said aspiring writer. I'm like, oh, you just made this so easy. So yeah. I gave a snarky comment back about for an aspiring writer, I would expect an insult done with better grammar. I think that's great. I think yeah. the fact that if we try and intellect them, because you can't, you can't no. argue with stupid people. No. Well, well and I don't even know that they're stupid. I, it, it's, I think people are just kind of digging in their keels at this point, And so many people don't, 
they just don't really get what things are about and they just want to have something at this yeah, point. But sometimes so. they just want attention. To be fair, I've had somebody that's left several messages on different of different videos of mine. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, and then I got, there was a beautiful video made about me today. Oh, nice. And they comment, they mentioned you as well, but it was like some really nice guy who's a political commentator Aww. saying that he doesn't go into that, that sort of shit, but the right. video, you know, a video popped up and how accurate. So I think mm-hmm. that if you're open minded enough, but if you want to be closed minded and you, you really think that Trump's going to win, you hold on to Come that. Come crying at election time. That's all I have to say. I think we'll know he's not going to win before election day. Oh, I know. It's just, it's mm-hmm. it's obvious. Although I think I figured it out. I talked about it on, on my podcast. And I think the delay in the election decides whether an infrastructure damage mm-hmm. is going to be the printing of ball- ballots. Because somebody well, on I also. I said that today. Yeah. Oh, did you? Oh, yes. high five. We both said it on our podcast. Yay. We're like twins. That's I why we have the same podcast, sweatshirt. I answered mm-hmm. a message to somebody mm. and I said, no, I did say it in my podcast. His yeah. name may be on the ballot, not maybe on the ballot, but he is not. The candidate is what I said. I think they're going to have to reprint. Yeah. I think that's the delay people see, mm-hmm. you know, because because I think he is fully intending on dropping out at this point. Yeah. Um. He he's a sore loser, and he's not going to accept the shellacking he'd get. He's a little so. baby. He's a mm-hmm. little baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I learned that voice by talking yeah. to my children. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And that's the best way to approach Absolutely. an adult man yeah. who yeah. cannot stop yeah. but throwing temper tantrums. Yeah. No. He's, but you yeah. know what? For all the horrible things that we see on social media and the comments and things like that, mm-hmm. I do lose many hours scrolling at some of the fun stuff. Absolutely. We do. That's and how we lighten up. That's how we mm-hmm. lighten up. How many cow videos is it you've sent me now? Oh, I don't I've lost count. <laughs> I sent you a moose. You sent me a moose. The moose. That was cute. The moose that came back and let somebody ride him. And it was as it grew cute. up. As it he grew saved up. it. He yeah. saved it. Mm-hmm. It's very cute. Mm-hmm. I do like animal videos. They do make me happy. Mm-hmm. Um, was it We Are Dogs? That's one of my favorite ones. Oh, we. You ever watch Those that one where they have the top ten dogs every week? Yes, I look out for that video every single week. I have like the top five. Here's our top five. I I have bought a couple of bits of merch from them as well. Oh, sweet! Because they that. save dogs. But my favorite creator this week, and everyone sends me these videos. Everybody <laughs> sends them to me. Um, Garen. Absolutely. What's his surname? Uh, Garen Noen. Gary No. Garen, no one? no one. Yeah, because I went and I looked it up. That's his username, Garen. No one. Okay. Have you heard him sing? I have not. You said he's got a beautiful Garen voice. Garen Noon. Oh, Noon. Noon. It's spelled no one. Yeah, but Noon is the Irish pronunciation. Is the Irish. We well, just, yeah. I am so far removed from my Irish. The last time anybody in my family was born in Ireland was like 1789, okay? That's a long way away, but look, it I'm was. just going to show you that. I get, I get the... You do. Bigosh and Begora. <laughs> Bigosh and Begora. Um, he, is, he is the sweetest, kindest, gentlest, he's a funniest love. human being that oh, I have funny. seen for so long. I have not laughed at one of his videos, or not not laughed at one of his right. videos. Oh my god, he's hilarious! I he's, tune into him all the time. He's not just hilarious; he is delicious. He is delicious. <laughs> he is completely delicious. I love that. That for those of you who haven't followed him, that's how he ends every bit video: is follow me. I'm delicious, and In a it's an Irish accent, very beautifully, and it's so cute. And he's he is so just, cute. He is like and you just want to feed through. him. You just want to feed him, and I think someone has. Mm-hmm. But yes, you just you want. It's like he walks through life seeing things for the first time. Mm-hmm. He went mm-hmm. to IKEA for the first time the other day, and that was quite funny. Oh, um, I missed that video. Yeah, and he's oh, talked God. about. Um, he talked about the Australian breakdancer 
<laughs> I was going to let you off the hook with that one. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm not going to lie. They were bad, but I honestly didn't see any good break dancing at all. Well, she, it eight. must have been really bad because she goes zero. Yeah, well, Zilch. she was horrendous. Well, we've all tried it. We've all failed at it. My girlfriend, Naomi, said she came over the other day, the day after. Well, no, actually, we could have done better down at our local pub after we've had a few <laughs> sherries. Absolutely. I was about to give the name of the bar away then. Um, <laughs> good catch. Good call. Good, good catch. Call. Good catch. Um, that was, you know, we tend, we could have done better. And the Australian government paid for her flight. I don't know how she talked them into doing it. She's got a PhD in social, you know, cultural movement. Okay. Cool. And her husband is the coach, her coach, so tax write-off for the trip. I'm just going to hold my opinions to myself. She should have been that. held at held at immigration. I'm sorry. And I, I, if she's allowed back in Australia, I will be very upset. Um, yeah. But, yeah, she, yeah, it was very disappointing. But, yes, he did talk about Ray Gunn, as she calls herself. Mm-hmm. Um, it was so embarrassing. The most embarrassing thing was when she was doing this, as if she'd mm-hmm. done a really good job. Um, but, yeah. yeah. It was, and she did the kangaroo. When I, that first came, I thought it was like an intermission comedy act or something. I didn't, mm-hmm. I didn't think it was real. Well, and I was like, "What is this, and why?" But the, but the rest of them, I, I now granted, I didn't watch the whole thing, mm-hmm. but I was like, "Wasn't the time to put it in the Olympics at its heyday?" <laughs> yeah, you would think because like. It was it was a little weird to watch. I just it was it was a little weird to watch. But Garen did talk about that. He also talked about one of my favorite videos of his is the portal from Dublin. Oh my god! Yes, to New York. Oh, oh god. my god! It uh, was hilarious. For those of you that don't know, and you've all got to go and watch Garen Garen Noon. No, yes, noon. spelled like no one if you're American and you don't yeah. speak Irish. Um, you've all got to <laughs> so you've all got to go and have a look at um, Garen Noon. Noon, now you've got me on the wrong pronunciation. <laughs> Garen, Garen noon. noon, spelled like no one, spelled like no one on uh, TikTok, and you will find some videos talking about the portal that was open between Dublin and New York. Now, it's been closed on a few separate occasions. One of them was someone in Dublin held up a photograph that they should not have held up. It was very, very naughty. Um, The photograph was naughty and it was not fair to the people of New York and it got closed down. Yeah. And they opened it with security measures, which was just plants put in front of it. Right. The Irish security was, measures. Oh my god, I laughed so hard. This is our security plants. Yes, plants. And then it got closed again because somebody in New York showed their ditties. They showed their ditties, as he put it, which is the boobies. Just lifted up their shirt and showed everyone yeah. in Dublin. So, yeah, it's been closed on a few occasions. But, yeah, go go and have a look at those videos because he will lighten anybody's day. Oh, my gosh. If you're having a shitty day, they, they will make you laugh. It's just one of my favorites these days. Like, and he is. He's, he's pure. He's so he's pure. Funny. Um, and he's a musician. And I've watched some of his music, and it's very good. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, he is very clever. So yeah, he's he's one of my favorites. So go and have a look at that. We've decided to be organized in the second season. <gasps> we have, we have, <clears throat> we have, and so we have our introduction chit chat. Mm-hmm. Then we talk about creators that make us laugh, and we do send each other a lot of videos. We do, and it's not ever metaphysical. It's usually like what I sent you. I've sent you baby cows. I've sent you um, 
fuzzy birds. Ah, um, uh, the penguins. The AI penguins. I didn't know they were AI, but you know. I didn't either at first, but they're so damn cute. And I'm like, that's fine. They can be AI. I don't want one. I want they're one. cute little babies. Um, silly dog videos. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Lots of silly dog videos and sometimes, sometimes, even uh, if it is metaphysical, it's uh, somebody that's made a stupid statement. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. We try not to do that too much, though, because it gets depressing. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, most of the time it's, yeah, certainly dog videos, little fuzzy baby cows. There was one in the shower the other day. That was so cute. I love the Highland cows. Uh, I want one. They're very sweet. I want a cow. In our effort to be organized on this huh? season, because we're in our season two, we didn't really talk about that. No, we didn't. We're in season two. Wow, we are in season two. Look at that. Mm-hmm. And just to top off the end of season one, we were in the charts in the Australian spiritual charts, and I think we got up to about number 20. Oh, wow. That's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. We did really well. We, we did, did for well. our first we season. We did. Not bad for two gals. Um, so, yeah. So, besides people who make us laugh, mm-hmm. we have another segment. And mm-hmm. we haven't really decided what we're going to talk about with this to read out the notes that we, we came <laughs> and met with. Um, because... We can both be kind of grouchy sometimes because we get irritated. We can by be very people. grouchy by people. Yes. Because when you spend a lifetime cultivating skills, learning how to communicate effectively, especially when we're talking about world predictions, and then people just shit all over the internet with bullshit. Yeah. Um, it gets frustrating. Uh huh. And we're trying to teach people to actually learn to think for themselves as well. I know. I I think it could be a losing battle. But yeah. anyway, um, so our next segment is is uh, things that make us want to bang our heads on a desk. And we have some choices. <laughs> we could run a poll, I suppose. Hold on. This is this is me. <laughs> Ow. Oh, yeah. Bong, bong, bong. Um, so we got lizard people, the eye. You introduced me to that one. Uh, the elites. 5D and other bullshit associated <laughs> with New Earth. Aliens. The ancient wisdom. They married siblings back in the day, okay? That wasn't wise. It was not wise. Anyway, there was no wisdom Jesus. with the ancient. No, God. Missing people and people who, like, scam people on that. Yep. Attitudes around being psychic. So the people are like, I'm psychic. I'm special. Oh God! Nobody's special, right? It's part of being human. We're all special. some people are better at it. We are. We're so special. I wish <laughs> In I a was special. special. Kind of I can't remember the rest of the song, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, chemtrails. Um, I don't know what that is. Asked, oh my God! People actually believe that the that there's no such thing as climate change. <gasps> And they think that, like, HARP is doing all of the climate stuff and chemtrails, which are those lines you see in planes on a blue sky, mm-hmm. um, are what's causing all the weather. But anyway, uh, timelines. Can we get some special music for this part? Nah, nah, oh, nah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Okay, go on. Uh-huh. And then listening music. skills, huh? reading what? skills. Huh? What? Eh? Reading skills. Uh huh. Followed by, we don't owe you shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is in our notes. We must have been very tired when we made this list. It yes, was the end totally. of the day for both of us. Yeah. Um, and start your own damn social media to give predictions. <laughs> oh my gosh. Should we start with that one? Because I could go on that one forever. Oh, have a go. Please do. <laughs> if you come into my page and start fucking predicting in on my page to get yourself attention, or mm-hmm. I knew that, 
or Mm -hmm. I predicted that or I predicted Mm -hmm. that the other week or I knew that Mm -hmm. years ago. Fuck off. Yeah, you're not relating to us. It doesn't make us besties. No. And no. if you want to start predicting, go make your own page. Don't yeah. have the balls to set up mm-hmm. a page, put your face on camera. Well, I didn't have the balls. Or that, a cartoon but, you know, filter. Or a cartoon filter because there's plenty of them around mm-hmm. and start predicting. Yeah. If you want to put yourself on the line, imagine what we do. Every Imagine how day. much we get laughed at on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Last year, at the beginning of last year and the year before, 2022, when we were saying that Biden was not going to be in, we didn't know each other then, by the way. No, and we kept saying the mm-hmm. same thing, not yeah. convinced. Not convinced he's not a candidate. Not convinced either of them mm-hmm. were going to be candidates by the time mm-hmm. we get to November. Mm-hmm. And when we were laughed at, and, we're st- mm-hmm. and I am still being laughed at on my page because I am told relentlessly that Donald Trump has to be the candidate because they cannot replace him. Actually, what? they can. The Republican this National, co- uh, co- they, they can. The co- mm-hmm. Republican National Convention absolutely can. They do yeah. not have the same rules as the Democratic National Committee, which has much more str- stringent rules on selecting candidates. They have a lot more gray areas in the RNC, and they absolutely can. Now, how they choose to do it, and they may be dickheads about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And exactly the same when I said that there could be a delay in voting day. Can't happen. Can't happen. If I made predictions, or Laurie made predictions, Mm -hmm. that were so frigging obvious, everybody would be doing them. Absolutely. And I am Absolutely. loving the fact how many people have you seen that have obviously watched our stuff and oh, yeah. changed their predictions. Oh, yeah, big time. That's why I did the uh, the George Carlin sound. Mm-hmm. Stop bullshitting. <laughs> I am over it. I just think it's like mm-hmm. there is one guy that has had a lot of media attention on TikTok. Oh yeah, he mm-hmm. and he has taken every single one of my predictions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I often block other people that claim to do what we do. It's uh-huh. because I have had a lot of my work lifted, and that includes how I describe signs, etc. It's not just predictions, and I'm like. Mm-hmm. It's not, this is not an un, copyrighted IP. This is, this is not, this is not creative commons. Yeah. You know, I, I, when you spend years and years and years being very, very good at what you do and have spent a lot of money in professional development, your actual mm-hmm. education, um, it's not fair game. It's not fair game, but getting back to the comments in our, you mm-hmm. know, I predicted that, or I knew that, or I think it's going to be X, Y, Z, you know. A lot of people will have a guessing game, but I'm talking about the people that are actually mm-hmm. mediums to be or, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what we need to add to the list is people calling you an astrologer. Oh, I Jesus. think that's, I just, I feel like it belittles your work if they call me an astrologer. Well, it, bel- well, it also belittles your work because mm. you're a professional medium and people need to get it right. Nomenclature matters, you know? Yeah. Um. I don't think it belittles mine. I don't mind. I don't care who gets called what, but I do care that you are called what you deserve to be called because you're exceptional at what you do. Thank you. You're very well skilled. Yeah. But I'm hanging out with (laughs) slouches. But also the people that try and predict or say that they've predicted, you're not relating to me. It's not relatable. No. I've been doing this for 20 odd years. I was mm-hmm. born with this ability. I pissed off family mm-hmm. and friends predicting stuff for such mm-hmm. a long period of time. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about, I, I am divorced. And I've said this before. I'm pretty sure my ex-husband is still in therapy because of the stuff that I've predicted <laughs> over the years. Um, and well, how, maybe somebody should have listened. <laughs> maybe somebody should have listened. <laughs> But maybe I shouldn't have gone and spoil every TV show we ever watched or movie, you know. Um, but yeah, I have worked hard to get to where I am. If you are a fly mm-hmm. by night, I've I've just pulled a card on that person. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do have some. I do have a handful of mediums in my yeah that follow me. I know they're not going. They're not predictive mediums. They're not people that come online and make yeah, predictions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I know that they're being copied. Oh, yeah. I know that I'm being, and it's oh, really yeah. annoying me because those are the ones that end up getting big accounts and mm-hmm. getting and financially. Well, gaining. we just need to put on bustiers and flash our tatas. Oh wait, yep. that's only fans. That's only fans. It's the wrong. You keep mixing them up. Oh, I do. Mm. I get so confused. <laughs> Have a look for Wyoming <laughs> girl in your OnlyFans search. But yeah, it just annoys me. Do you have anything no, to say? No, it does me too. I, I had somebody else today because whenever we get a boost in views, mm-hmm. everybody wants to go viral. Yeah. I, I Going viral doesn't necessarily help you if you're a serious person and you don't make money in the creator fund and things mm-hmm. like that. Um, but I had somebody being like, well, it's obvious or whatever. I'm like, well, it wasn't three years ago. I'm just refreshing what I've been saying. Exactly. It's like because you people have no memories and I have to go back and find some. But that's why I put my juiciest stuff in my Patreon. Now, if somebody wants to pay to be in my Patreon and rip me off from there, um, I I can hunt them down easier. I put my dates on everything. Mm -hmm. I see you do that. I always forget I, I have to do that because people will question everything. So mm-hmm. obvious that Biden was not going to be the candidate. Well, at the end of 2022, when I first said it, no, it wasn't obvious. No, but I have the comment sections from the videos. So, you know, like when everybody was terrified Trump was going to be president, I kept saying mm-hmm. he's not going to be president. He's not. I mean, I have a jillion videos like that. Yeah. And then just the, I hope you're right. I pray you're right. Please be right. And be like, could you take the panic off? I swear to God, that's how it ended up overstimulated. Yeah. I, I, I felt the panic just before mm-hmm. there was a real change in the energy from mm-hmm. when it was like a week he got shot. Mm-hmm. By a BB gun on his ear because mm-hmm. there was no. It was a twenty-two <laughs> shell. It wasn't. He didn't get shot by it. It didn't hit his ear. I it know. whizzed past his head. But yes. yeah, I do know that because apparently it was a twenty-two grew back. shell. His ear grew back. Yeah, Nobody's grew ever back, seen right? it. Like, no, right? The doctors He's... are amazed. They're just so mm-hmm. fascinated that my ear grew mm-hmm. back in yeah. a month, dude. In mm-hmm. a month. Mm-hmm. Jesus, the people are missing limbs. Could we not, mm-hmm. you know, don't Get on make with light that. of things? Mm-hmm. Um, so in that week between when the assassination attempt happened and mm-hmm. Kamala was the nominee and Biden mm-hmm. was stepping down, mm-hmm. the fear in that week mm-hmm. of what was going to happen, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, oh, yeah, it's obvious. I know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as he stepped down, the mm-hmm. The energy changed. Oh, my God. It just went like. And then everybody acts like they knew it all along. I'm like, no, you fucking didn't because you've been stressing me out for three years. I've seen the panic in and the change of the comments now Mm -hmm. is fascinating. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the panic of everyone. And I just ignore people now. If they go, like I have people come into my lives or or comments and they Mm -hmm. go, so who's going to win? Fuck. We've said it. <laughs> Jesus. I said, said it. It will be a Democratic nominee. And I said mm-hmm. that because I didn't want to go, Kamala Harris is going to win. Right. Before she was even the nominee. The candidate, yeah. And and that's the thing is I always said that the party that retained the executive or that held the executive would retain it. That's mm-hmm. what I always said. And then I, and then I might add, and right now it appears to be Biden because he's still in office, but Harris has the better transits, but nobody wants to talk about her. Mm-hmm. And I reposted just the clip of that video and people, the amount of people are like, well, I want to talk about her. I'm like, well, you didn't last year. Nobody did. I said it last mm-hmm. year and mm-hmm. everyone was going, oh, she can't do it. She's mm-hmm. not capable. Who would put, mm-hmm. and, and it was women saying that. Yes, it was, because the misogyny oh. is so strong. Mm-hmm. She's not capable. I was like, a vice president's job is to be in the background. 
It's yep. never. And by the way, she doesn't have any. She has zero power to establish policy as vice mm-hmm. president. Her job is to execute on behalf of the president. But can she I just none. point Go out, ahead. if you mm-hmm. all want her to be able to make change, you've mm-hmm. got to flip the house. The house, if 100%. If you don't do it, you are going to be You're gonna in have a, a lame spiral. Duck. You're going to have a lame duck. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. let her be a lame duck. It's up mm-hmm. to you guys. Mm-hmm. Although Ilhan won. Uh, they've been going after the most progressive repre- uh, represent- representatives and primary them. So, like, our primaries are how we select the party candidate. And they've they've taken out, like, two very strong progressives this, this year with mm-hmm. moderates. They're not moderate. But anyway... Um, and they're Democrats. This is within the Democrat okay. Party itself. I right? don't know what you're talking right. about. I know you're I not. pay no attention. Right. Not but to you. Ilhan, but... right. Ilhan is a Muslim representative from, I believe, Michigan. Right. I could be wrong. It could be Wisconsin. Pardon me, Midwest. I'm a West Coast girl. This Wyoming is as far east as I've ever lived. Um, but she was in danger of losing her seat and she won today. So, oh, okay, that's good yeah, news. yeah, she was in danger, and she's taken it on the chin pretty hard from the the right, so, mm-hmm. so I'm that was just interesting finding, to see, yeah, I just oh, I'm, if people actually show up and vote down ballot once the yeah, ballots are printed, you know, I don't really printed. care what people vote for, but if you want change it to be a certain way, then. Do if you want Harris to be able to make decisions that are backed up by those in the House and get legislation mm-hmm. finally frigging passed, mm-hmm. that's what you need to do. But I do yeah. think you've got a change in speaker coming. That would be great. I don't think it's that, that far out. You should hear my dad make fun of him. We wouldn't be alone. TV. It is so funny he gets going and he is hilarious <laughs> i can't see any of it on the podcast it's ah, not appropriate it's not appropriate but i'm chuckling so. good yeah i don't think he's long for this for where he is no so no, no, not long no. for, i'm not saying he's not long for this world i'm just saying i don't think he's long in his job and i mm-hmm. did predict the last you did you did Leader, the last speaker changed. The yep. last speaker changed. Mm-hmm. Yep. I did because I had Kevin's chart. I don't, I don't have birth times on a lot of these guys, so mm-hmm. and I won't make predictions without it. And no. I have enough work I'm doing right now. I, I don't mind satisfying mm-hmm. people's curiosity, but I, so I'm yeah. trying to reorganize myself before we grow again because we're going to. I'm trying to do exactly the same thing. I do have next mm-hmm. month off. Woohoo! Isn't that mm-hmm. great? <laughs> it's how I am for October because the <laughs> I, those transits. I'm like, I absolutely my last reading will be like October eighth, and then I have all of October mm-hmm. off. That's great. My last reading and- is next week. Oh, that's nice. I just need it. And and I mm-hmm. had originally, remember we talked and I had originally taken the time off to have surgery. Right. And the decision is that I'm not having surgery, but I'm having PT twice a week. And then I've just had mm-hmm. injections in my back. And that knocked me out for four days. Oh, that yeah. Injection. Yeah. Um, yeah. You look I, so much better today, though. Your color's better. I'm surprised nobody commented on the color of me on my TikTok video. I was yeah. as white as white. Um, yeah. But yes, I've got my color back today. I was just, yeah, it didn't. There was something about the way they did it, or the way I was lying when it was mm-hmm. done, and I was in a lot of pain the last couple of days. But mm-hmm. I am, and plus, I sat all day on Sunday without right. thinking. I did back to back readings, way too many oh. because I'd moved them from Friday to Sunday, thinking I'd mm-hmm. be fine. And I, if I cancel somebody, and then I have to cancel them a second time. I am mortified and embarrassed. Yeah, I hate to do that. Yeah, I'm the mm-hmm. same. I'm the same. I don't mind moving someone once. Mm-hmm. And I always try to do their reading within seven days, if sooner, mm-hmm. if I possibly can. Mm-hmm. Um, but I tagged a few onto Sunday and 
it was just a silly move on my part. It's hard. And then I had leg cramps on Sunday night and Monday night and didn't sleep. Mm-hmm. But we are back to normal. So I'm not having surgery, but I have a month off to reorganize, write some courses, get some stuff on, on Patreon because mm-hmm. I think we're going to be busy. I will still be doing this in social media because there is mm-hmm. stuff in September that I want to be around. Oh, for. holy shit. I'm actually, <laughs> I've got to get, <laughs> so get this. So September 1st is just like a shit show in and of itself. Mm-hmm. It starts the month off with Uranus turning retrograde. Right. Yep. Okay. Laugh because it sounds funny. But anyway, so that alone is a big day. That's a big shift in energy. And Pluto enters Capricorn. Dun, right. dun, dun. Here comes the Death Star. And so it's such a big shakeup of energy. And then it's just boom, 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 boom all month. I need to have the magazine done. But child number one is coming to film the new political podcast we're starting. So when is she coming to visit? Potentially this weekend. And I okay. have to that all of this stuff. But it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. In fact, I got a text. She's been uh, researching Wyoming. And she goes, this is only a Virgo. Mm. Only a Virgo or someone with Virgo placements. I could expect something like this from you, Matilda. I was just with your I was Virgo waiting man. for it. I was waiting for it. What she said. Mom, I can own skunks in Wyoming. And skunks are cute. <laughs> and okay. then she was like, and I can have big cats, but they can't be outside in the winter. I'm like, so we have to buy a ranch. Okay, this is life. Yeah. Life is the mother of a Virgo child. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, she was like six. So she's like, mommy, can I have a crocodile? I'm like, no. I, mm-hmm. I want to know. Whether she has found any kappa buoys, kappa buoys, kappa berries, kappa berries. Where are they? Capybara, capybara, capybara. Cap- they're in South America. Can't we have them here? Capybara. I don't know. Australia has really strong rules about animal imports. If I put it in my hand luggage, <laughs> they might not see it. They're really big. I will buy they a big not... hand luggage. I will buy it a ticket on the plane and dress You'd be it like, up. I'm from Australia. I'm a kangaroo. <laughs> it's in my pouch. I will. I will say this is the next entrance for breakdancing. For break dancing. <laughs> in the next Olympics. <laughs> oh, oh God, you kill me! Oh, um, see that when yeah, she was a little girl. Okay, little tiny thing. We my my good friend had a mini farm, mm-hmm. and we had just met. Like we were just getting our families together and doing play dates. So Sarah was like seven, maybe eight, maybe not nine yet. Okay, I get a panicked phone call from my friend. Mm-hmm. I think Sarah took an egg, <gasps> and I said. Oh my God. And I was embarrassed she took an egg, right? That was where my thought. And she goes, No, I think she's trying to hatch it. She was really interested in how to keep eggs warm. And she was asking a lot of questions. You need to find where she put the egg. You don't need a rotten egg. And I was like, Oh my God. In the sock drawer of her little um, bureau with toilet paper as a nest. Oh my God. She would have kittens inside her hoodies. I mean, oh my god! So this is just this who is just, she is. This is just who she is. Yeah, yeah, just who she is. She is Doctor Doolittle, and I, I find I it would amusing. Just... I am not into that, though. I'm not. This See, is not my jam. I. This is why I like baby cows, and I want one. Mm-hmm. Oh, pigs! <gasps> I love uh, a pig. I love a pet mm-mm. pig. I am so scared of pigs. I managed you as an overweight, late thirties, almost forty woman because I got a little chunky then. I managed to run from pigs and jump onto the top of my minivan. Yeah, and then I had to go get that same friend who had the ranch. Grew up on a ranch, and I had her come wrangle the pigs. Put them back. Are they wild pigs? 
No, they, my cousin was raising them and I, I was, it was the last time I ever volunteered to feed anything while someone was on vacation, except for the dogs. <laughs> but I'm just like, don't have me do it. Just don't. There always something will go wrong. Um, I don't want to. I can raise <laughs> you that story with pigs. <laughs> so I grew up in an area of the UK or I mm-hmm. spent much of my childhood in an area of the UK called New, the New Forest. And there is a place called Burley Stream. It's one of my favourite places in the world. It's a picnic place. Mm. And my father's grandmother, so she was old, old. She was Mm -hmm. probably close to 90 at this stage Mm -hmm. because I don't think it was long before she died. Mm -hmm. And my, and she was tiny. She was four foot six, four foot seven. Mm -hmm. Um, I come from leprechaun, leprechaun stock. You haven't met my mom yet. She's pretty. She's pretty tiny, but yeah, um, yeah. Nobody. None of the women in my family, apart from me, got above five foot. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, we were holidaying. Oh, sorry, we were picnicking, and mm-hmm. my we only take a couple of deck chairs. As all us kids, we we've got our fishing nets. You know the fishing nets on a stick, like the butterfly nets oh, yeah. that you mm-hmm. could scoop. Yeah, we, we use those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. were in the stream having mm-hmm. a whale of a time, and my grandmother um, was there, and all of a sudden we hear this, oink, oink, this giant wild boar <gasps> knocked her out of her seat, oh, no. went through the picnic eating what he could, sat and went off. That was it. <laughs> Tried to come back, and there's my uncle, so my great uncle, with a mm-hmm. deck chair trying to push it away. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I'd have taken oh, it home. Well. I wasn't allowed. He was huge. Oh, yeah. Boars get really big. So the reason why I'm afraid of pigs oh. is because every year when the Wizard of Oz would come on, mm-hmm. and I was at my great-grandma and great-grandpa's house, mm-hmm. who both came from farms back right. in the day, we'd be watching it. Dorothy gets onto the fence, and then she slips and falls into the pig waller. Yep. Every single time, without fail, Grandpa Troy would say, well, she wouldn't have got out of there without losing a leg. <laughs> Remember that time the farm hand and we only found a shoe and my great grandmother would be like, Troy, stop, Troy, stop. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, my God, pigs are going to eat me alive. I'm like, I don't want to know about that. So, yeah, it was induced trauma from childhood. Well, so, that's just mean. Induced yeah. trauma's got a lot to answer for, to be perfectly honest with you. Yes, it does. I think the, the, the things adults told us, we should have a new segment, things adult, adults uh, told things us. Things adults told us. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, we do children. I have a list? But in Sedona, so I went, there's a conference center that's absolutely gorgeous there. And I'd gone in because I was hosting a retreat and I was looking for a place to have it. And I did have it there in 2018. But anyway, I had just arrived and there are wild pigs. Okay. Uh-huh. And these are very wild. These are not domesticated. These are very wild. And they are they tend to be extremely. <laughs> I Sorry. Thought, I thought you were going to sneeze. And I was like, I'm not going to steal this one. No. Uh, they, you're tired. I know. No, so they I had, apologize. Oh, I oh, apologize. Okay. I yawned during her story. Oh, come on, tell me the story of the pigs in Sedona. I'm, I'm trying to remember what they're called, though. They're called um, just javelinas. Javelinas. Okay, okay so they're called javelinas. You can look them up. That's with J, like javelin. Okay, okay. but they're javelina. They are very aggressive. There's always stories really? about be careful. Yeah, they've got these tusks. They're quite large and they're very protective of their babies. <laughs> babies are really cute. <laughs> anyway, I go into this place. I'm excited. I come out. And next thing I notice, I am surrounded by adult <gasps> javelinas. Oh my God. And my dog was in the car in the parking lot because it was spring. It wasn't hot yet. It was still cool, right? Uh-huh. So Malcolm's in the car. Luckily, far enough away, he's not going batshit yet. All right. And I look, and to my left is a javelina, to my right is a javelina, and behind me is a javelina, and one off to the side behind them, and the only way was forward. 
did I take that as a spiritual sign or what? And I just, I kind of took a deep breath and I was like, okay, just walk calm, just walk calm, just walk calm, just walk calm. And I get like just about 20 feet away and I'm five feet to my car and I kind of give a little look over my shoulder and they're still just doing their thing. And uh-huh. I bolt the rest of five feet, get in the car. Oh my Malcolm God. notices them, starts losing his shit. But yeah, and that's kind of how I knew it was okay and I was going to be there because I wasn't sure if I was going to live there or not. But it was the Halloweenists. They didn't aggress me at all. And I was the thing I was scared most of. And I was taking all these risks in my life at the time. Mm -hmm. It's how I kind of got here. Um, That was part of it. And that was such a thing. Just like there was only one way to go forward. It was so clear. There's there's your spiritual sign. But yeah. Mm Did you pee mm-hmm. your pants a little? Almost. <laughs> I did did find a restroom after. I but really, it was yeah. I was so close because if you look them up, they're they're very interesting animals, but they're not known for being cute and fuzzy. I so I don't have a fear of a lot of animals, I'll be honest with you. I have I'm my not big surprised. fear is small spaces. That's my oh, yeah. massive, massive yeah. fear. And the ocean. Rightfully like, so, in both cases. <laughs> in both cases, I just I have that weird. Um, I do have severe claustrophobia, and nothing. Uh, you cannot counsel me out of that. You, I cannot mm-hmm. do hypnotherapy. Do not try and counsel me out of it. It is not going to happen. There are some things that I'm okay being afraid of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, but you would be the. Do you remember that? The, speaking of, we got to get him on the list of creators that make me laugh. There's um. Uh, a black creator who is always going on about white women bringing animals. Oh home. yeah, he's funny. Yes, I. Love I gotta him. find his name because it's mm-hmm. escaping me now. But he is hilarious. <laughs> he yep. is so funny, especially when he's like Debbie says. Debbie um, says. When he does his little does his little high pitched voice. Yeah. No. Oh my god. We'd, I would adopt absolutely all and everything if I could physically take care of it. Mm-hmm. I spent my childhood, as I said, the New Forest. Do you know what the New Forest mm-hmm. is famous for? Mm-hmm. Wild ponies. They are just, they just Ooh. live everywhere. They just, they, they live, if you, you drive through the New Forest and it's all horses and wild ponies. Do you Do think not I spent my childhood child trying to capture one of those? Yes, I did. <laughs> Did I ever catch one? No, I did not. But I spent many. But it was summer. worth the effort. It was worth the, the effort. <laughs> and it is. It's beautiful. They are very well known for for their horses. Wow, that's cool. It is one of the most beautiful places on this earth, though. We'll have to go. Definitely, we'll have to go. So. What else have we got for you today? It is a wild time. I think um, I was going to mention my event, but I think by the time this comes out, the event will be done. It's coming out Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, Saturday. My event Mm -hmm. is Saturday. Oh, well, too late. Snooze you lose. Don't worry. Snooze you lose. We're both going to have more events coming up individually, our own things. Yes. I'm still catching my breath. I'm not going to lie. I was so wiped out when I got here that I am just now starting to feel kind of like back to myself. So, yeah. And you need to rest. Was, you need mm-hmm. to actually listen to your body mm-hmm. as you are forever yeah. telling me. I know. And I have been. I have, except Monday when my podcast was Mercury retrograded. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, no, it's I am. Um, it's all right. I had the same thing. I lost part of my podcast and I'm hoping that I taped it together in the right order. I sort of listened to it. I was so over it by the time I'd edited it that I'm like, if this is out of order, then they can just take it like an Ikea podcast. They can put it together themselves. Right. This is the Ikea right. podcast. <laughs> and here are your instructions. Two lines meaning nothing. I was just and over it. And Alan Wrench. Right. <laughs> by, the time I, by the time I got through it and like I haven't stopped today because I obviously had a couple of days of downtime and I've just realized right. that I actually have readings tonight. So yay Woo! me. Um thinking I, I had get a quiet it. evening. But yeah, 
it's uh, it's going to be interesting. And we also haven't done a Sassy Sears since our event. Really? In August. This is our first Sassy Sears since our event. Wow. We took off a lot of time. We did. Our event was only last week. Was no, it? The week before. It was 11 no, it was days 3rd. ago. Yeah, 11, it was 11 days, days ago. ago. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we've had two or three weeks off. I think it's two. Uh, I think it's two. Yeah, at least. Anyway, it was bizarre. An event that was supposed to go for an hour and a half. <laughs> Who were we kidding? Four hours later. <laughs> <laughs> I think all up it went for about four and a half hours because yeah, we took a couple really of did. breaks. We did. Um, we did. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, those that hung around that stayed up all night to listen to us, thank you. They got it was juicy great. shit. Man. They got juicy yeah. shit. Uh, we the covered... recordings are in our Patreons, by the way. Just, you can yeah. go to hers or mine. But go ahead. We covered the UK, Europe, mm-hmm. Japan, some of Asia. Australia, mm-hmm. New Zealand, mm-hmm. South America, and North America. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And from August until December. Uh, lots of predictions. Lots of predictions. Uh, on Middle East, Mediterranean. Middle East, the Middle East mm-hmm. and the Mediterranean. Yep. Yeah, sorry, mm-hmm. forgot about that. So if mm-hmm. you are interested, it is for sale in either of our Patreon shops. Do not buy it from your. Apple device. No, yeah. And so you can buy it from a web, right? So you're not going through, yeah, because you're not going through the Apple store on the web. Mm -hmm. So if you have like a Mac, you can do it from your MacBook or whatever. But on your phone, you pay the 30% Apple store surcharge. And there's nothing we can do about that. And in fact, Patreon, there's no options. Uh Um, In fact, they just sent out an email explaining, like they tried to negotiate. They were told if they, if people tried to make workarounds, they would lose access to the Apple shop for the app. Yep. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing we can do about it. So just Mm -hmm. try not to, Mm -hmm. um, because otherwise it's going to be more expensive for you. Yeah, so we try to we try to make it fit. But yeah. yeah, we try and make it fit. So yeah, that's up for sale. Um, yeah, anything else you want to talk about today? You can find all of our links in the show notes. Yes. Um, and we're excited to be back for season two. We are to have a season two. Yes, that's pretty Whoa. cool. We're more organized, kind of. Yeah, don't take that. Don't take that with a pinch of salt. It's the two of us. We try. <laughs> we try to be organized. We try as hard as the Australian breakdancer does. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> we seriously, I was, well, I kept poor Laurie waiting today. You were fine. Yeah, I didn't wait that long. It was a couple minutes. No big I deal. Was just, but I was going to say, did you realize there's people that all they do is just this? They just do this? Really? Yeah. Like the podcasting, like they don't edit. They don't, they have like teams. So like all somebody does is oh, they just yeah. show up and talk. Yeah yeah. 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 And and we do a lot more than that. So when we were sitting in, both Laurie and I, during our hiatus or around the hiatus, I think we did talk about this, but we'll, we'll we're going to mm-hmm. toot our horn again. We were sitting at the number one, two, and I think around the 10 to 20. Yeah. So yeah. we had three podcasts in the top 20 of the 20. United States spirituality. Yeah. Right? We rocked it. We rocked it. Neither of us have teams Mm-mm. Um, with our podcast. We do have teams with other stuff that allow us to yeah. do our podcast. But yeah. that's an important yeah, yeah. note. So we don't want to belittle the people that do help us. Yeah, no, we, we have, have help in us. other ways. We have moderators. We have people who do backup stuff for us and background stuff. But it's not like we have a podcast studio yeah. with, with sound engineers and people who know how to We don't just get to sit down, 
talk and then it goes off to um, uh, mm-hmm. an editor who add mm-hmm. top and tail it. Laurie does all our mm-hmm. editing. So if I say I'm bad, mm-hmm. we're gonna we're gonna blame her. Laurie does. Oh, all... hey, I'm not audio engineering though, man. I'm just editing out our worst kerfuffles. Bad words. Uh, <laughs> the bad words. But yes, I leave those in. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have teams. A lot of the other people mm-hmm. in those top spots have teams. Oh, they're they have huge. They have budgets. Yeah, they they have money behind them. They have millions of followers too. Yeah, and we mm-hmm. were leading, and it's going to we come were, back. We, it's going to come yeah. back. It's going to come back in a couple of weeks, and we made them spend ad money. Yay! <laughs> Their team went. Who the fuck are these people? Have you right? ever heard of them? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's that's the reality of the situation. Neither of us have a team. We both do it on our PC. We've got our mm-hmm. mics. We we do the best that we can. We put you out a podcast every single week, two podcasts every single week, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we don't have teams. So mm-hmm. think about that when you compare the fact that we were in the top two positions in the charts. That was so fucking amazing. It was That amazing. was so cool. Especially since I don't know that either one of us expected that, so it was. Neither just... of us did. No, we no. Think we, you know, we just we just do what we do and enjoy what we do. Absolutely, just like we teach other people. Just absolutely do what you're called to do and, and let it go. Work out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, I don't care if I drop. I mean, God, I've dropped a lot. And it's fine. I just know that, but my listens are up, and so I'm like, I they're spending money. That. Because my listens are way up, and I am because in, I they're have spending, they are, they're having to spend ad dollars or market to their fan base, like send out emails and say these devil women. <laughs> yeah, these devil women are beating us. Do I right? care? So. No, I don't care. Nah, no. All right, yeah. well, that's it for I think our that's first episode of, of season, season two. two. <laughs> All right, we've got a rhythm. Thank you.